I just wanted to make a really quick video to show you how easy it can be to make a Google form. This does not need to be long or complicated. So I just wanted to give you the tips. So first off, you're going to open up a web browser here and you're going to go to the easiest way to get to Google forms is to go to google.com slash forms. Okay. And it'll display all of your forms. Now I have a million of them, but we're going to make a new form. So you click that big cross button and it'll bring up this new form and you can name it whatever you want. YouTube sample form, um, however you'd like it to be. Okay. Now you can add so many different types of questions. So as you click on these, there's different options over here. You could do like a short answer, paragraph, multiple choice, check boxes, drop down. And what's great about Google Forms, it's really just a way to collect data. So for example, if you're using this for your virtual parties, you'll wanna collect you know, their first name. So that would be your first question. And a lot of times Google Forms will sense what you want it to be and kind of take care of it for you, but you can always change it over here. Now down here, you're gonna to wanna to look, do you want this to be required? I would, okay? Cause you're for sure wanna get it, going to want to get their first name. You can copy it, that's what this little button does. And then that makes it really fast and easy to start getting some of the, the rest of the data. Okay, so I'm gonna copy it again. And every time you copy it, it copies that it's required also. So it makes it really, really fast um, to get people's information. And then city and whatever else you want to put in here. Now maybe, uh, you want to see like what type of session that they would like to do. You can just type in the options uh, session. Here we go. So you could make this one microdermabrasion and then this one could be charcoal mask. So whatever options you want. OK, so that's just the basic gist of the Google form. Not hard to do. Now, it, let's say you want to add a photo to your Google form or a video or whatever. You go over to this little guy over here. And you're going to click on the photo icon and um, we are going to upload. Um, let's just pick this one here. We're going to upload a photo. Oh, yay. OK, so if you just want your samples are on their way <laughs> now, if you need to move this, you're like, oh, I really want it like up here at the beginning of my Google form. You just scroll down and you click on these dots here and you just drag it where you want that to go. You don't have to have a title on it. Um, but you totally, totally could. You can also add a YouTube video by clicking here and then that will show up in your form also. Okay, so that's like the basic gist of the form. Now, if you wanna you know, get fancy and make it pretty, if you come up here and you click on this little artist's um, paint well, you're gonna come up with some options. So you have the option to change, right? If you're like a fonts matter person like I am, you can change you know, whatever fonts you want, you can also change the color scheme. So let's say I kind of want, I don't know, the overall color scheme to match the pink that's in the photo. I could click here and um, either type in the pink color or, you know, try to make, well, it'd be more over here, it'd be a pink, right? So you could pick like a light pink like that and then um, you'd add that color and then, you know, you can click on it and see how it changed the overall color scheme of the Google form, which I absolutely love. So that's great. Now, um, you will also want to click on responses. OK, and you're going to want to click once you but don't click on that until you have all of your questions ready to go. Then you're going to click on responses and you want to click these three little dots here. First of all, OK, this is a big one. I always, always, always toggle this on that I can get notifications. So meaning this is going to email you every single time someone fills out your Google form, which is really great. And you'll also click this link to sheets. You'll create a new spreadsheet. And now if you wanted to share this, like say you have, you know, your red jacket and you, you want to share the responses to this form with your, the women that are on your team, you would have to go up here to, to share and you would need to change restricted to anyone with the link. But then you could copy this link, send it to your team, and they could see who has responded to the Google form. You would only want to do that if you're sending it to your team. Um, if you want to send, let's name our Google form. There we go. YouTube sample form. You just always click up here if you want to rename it. 
But if you go back to questions, if you want to send this Google form to somebody, like to a customer to fill out so that, again, you can get her address and email and stuff for samples, you go up to here to publish. And then, you know, you can change this. You know, you want to make sure it says anyone with the link. Um, you're going to publish it. And then you're going to want to copy the link. OK, so you have to publish it first. Make sure it's accepting responses. Copy the link. You can also shorten the link, which I would recommend doing if you're sending it to someone. Copy it. Go ahead and paste it into a text, paste it into an email, paste it wherever you want. So that is the easy peasy lemon squeezy instructions on how to make a really fast and easy Google form. <laughs>